She is. She is. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Raina. Hi. If you are new here, first off, welcome. Rain gang, welcome back to this for another video. I feel like I have not sat down here in a minute. I don't, it's, it's just, mm -mm. So on today, I said I wasn't gonna dye my hair. I did, I said I wasn't gonna do it, but we are going to do it today. <laughs> so honestly, the packaging got me. Um, and so I typically use uh, box dyes, obviously, but I've used a, about three different ones. I try to stick to no, no ammonia, so this is what kind of grabbed my attention. The brand is called Bright. It's a cruelty-free vegan hair color. It's supposed to be a clean color. You are supposed to take the stuff out of the and so I'm mixing in here and there's obviously a pump. Well, I am going to be getting a protective style and I wanna cover these grays. I'm just gonna get individuals for vacation. And um, I have a whole bunch of grays. Let me get closer to the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. Cause I don't, ooh, disrespectful. But I have a ton of little baby just disrespectful grays. And it's all in, it's all in my baby here. Oh lady. And before we get started, no, I do not want to embrace my grays just yet. So obviously you want to wear a shirt that you, you know, don't really care about. You get a developing cream and then a colorant. And again, it's in the color black. And then also we're gonna go ahead and hopefully we're gonna go ahead and do a brow tint with Ardell. So I tried this one time, it's dark brown. There we go. Mm -hmm. But it's 12 applications, covers grays, last two weeks, that's a lie. Uh, it didn't do that for me. But um, I'm gonna do it again because, again, I really just want to be vacation ready and all that jazz. So I'm talking too much, let's go ahead and get into it. This is a permanent color. I'm choosing permanent because I obviously do my hair for a living and so I put a lot of water in water-based products and so it's easy to wash away and fade. I do recommend going to a professional. But because I'm going darker, I'm actually putting pigment into the hair. This is no ammonia, no sulfates, parabens, and PPD free. So you're supposed to put everything in here. Put that over to the side. Okay, and then we're gonna put the developing cream. Like so, like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. Ooh, it smells really good. But this actually has a really nice, like, fruity flavor. We're gonna put it back. Or you can use your brush. Oh. <laughs> we got the gloves. It says to do it on dry hair. I am not gonna use it as a pump. I mean, it was cute and everything. You definitely can. But I think, I'm gonna go ahead and just double mix this really quick. So, let me just say, I am not a professional. Let me turn the lights up a little bit. Maybe you guys can see that a little bit better. Okay. I am not a professional. I've been dyeing my hair for years. I don't ever use a brush and I should be parting, but I'm not. But I do recommend that you go to a stylist if you've never dyed your hair before. Now, I did not suggest any cream around the perimeter of your hair line. And I typically don't, but you know, you just have to do what works for you. I'm such a edges and baby hair person. I don't like the grays peeping through. And it's a very creamy consistency. There's no chemical smell. Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. So now we're gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. And I will say, when I used this before, it did not do it the way that my henna did. I'll leave the video link down below. If if I forget y'all, uh, search happy girl, happy girl uh, brows. It should, sh it should show up. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, like why won't you just go, you know, and get your brows done professionally and tinted. And first of all, I, I come against microblading. It's not for me. It's too permanent for me. I don't want to go through the stages and all that. It looks great. Some Sometimes it looks really good. I didn't want to risk either going somewhere and then I, I just I just rather do it myself. I'm lying. I wouldn't rather do it myself. I just don't want to be pissed off on my trip. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my husband's uh, alcohol to cleanse this because I do have like skincare on, just to kind of you know clean it off really well. Has tint powder. Mm-hmm. And to mix it in a little little tray, it's kind of washed out. But it says brow tint conditioning developer. And that okay, four parts developer to one part colorant. So I just did about four drops. Put the powder in the little tray. It's a lot, it's a lot. So I did about four parts. Then I'm just 
stirring it up. And of course, you know, if you've never done this before, don't be scared. I would actually start with henna, and I got mine off Amazon. Check my storefront down below. That's the brand that I use. I actually saw it on Arnell Armand's channel. You guys know I love her. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit so that it's not. We real Jermaine Jackson over here, but it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna take some light concealer. So the only difference with this, I don't line them like I'm putting on makeup. Kind of leave a little bit of room because I don't mind if it kind of bleeds over giving me the illusion of thicker eyebrows or like kind of going on my skin. That doesn't bother me. Even Steven, huh? But again, I don't care about perfection. It ain't gotta be T and Tamara. Well, it can be T and Tamara because you know T and Tamara, they twins, but that's the same. You know what I'm saying? They real different. Like we don't need it to be Ashley Olsen and Mary Kay because I can't tell them people apart at all. It kind of uh, messed up my judgment. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Morphe flat brush that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and comb it, brush the brows, and we're just gonna go ahead and apply it. Now, if you've seen my brow video with the henna, it's the same exact process. Then when I'm doing this, I like to focus on the areas where um, I want more definition. I want my arch to be a little bit more defined and then for my tail to be a little bit more defined than under here as well. It really is going to darken your brow hair, not so much like the skin. Leave it on for the rest amount of time that I have to wait for my uh, hair dye. This I would love for my eyebrows to like look naturally. All right, so I need to rinse out my hair. It's time, my timer went off, but I wanna go ahead and do these brows because I read the instructions. It says to leave on for 10 minutes, so it's been over 10 minutes. So that's how we are looking. I'm taking alcohol on this towel. Okay, I mean, you know, I could have been a little bit better. But you do have to be a little bit more, like, a little bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? Meticulous, because it will give you, you know, that more of that stained look. So my tail could have been a lot better. It's not, really not bad. Like, it's not bad. It's just, I gotta get used to this. <laughs> it's a lot darker than, I like it. It's not bad. I gotta clean it up. I haven't, like, shaved underneath it. Guys, what a prep day. Oh, the hair dye on my skin. Skin a little bit. So just be mindful, you know, to put some cream around it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do these brows. I'm just gonna take a little bit of serum and I need to like, some parts are like a little patchy. It's fine, don't worry. So I have a pack of razors. I'm just gonna clean this up. All right, ooh, that looks kind of good. Okay, that's them kind of cleaned up. So it looks kind of good. I mean, there is a patch that's kind of missing, but I'm really not tripping. <laughs> I should be. But you know, when you on vacation, I plan to be in the water, you know what I mean? And I just don't want to wear, well, I don't wear foundation. I do, you know, do my under eye concealer and I am a brow girl, so. Hold on, I can't do this while I'm talking. So I'm a brow girl, right? I like crisp, clean brows. I said, you know, I I can't I can't be worried. You know what I'm saying? And so I deserve. You know what I'm saying? I really deserve. Me and my husband deserve this. This is my NYX. I love this NYX pencil or pen. I'm sorry. It, you can get like hair-like strokes. So now I know what I need to do differently when I get closer to the trip because I I feel like this is gonna fade. Oh, and then I use mascara to kind of just lay my brows down because my brows are kind of curly. I started doing this years ago. I got this from Alyssa, Ever Alyssa, I think was her name, and it kind of thickens the brows brow hair too. It's giving microbladed but it ain't permanent. <laughs> you know, once I throw on some mascara and I might even do my own lashes, <clears throat> ooh child. You know, but anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and deep condition my hair. Now I will say, it did cover my grays. Um, really good coverage, so that's good. This is the only dye that I've tried where it does not feel stripping. Very like, almost, almost oily. Usually I feel like I need to deep condition immediately. I'm using my definition in curl elongation mask by Pattern. You guys know, let me some Pattern. Up and out of Z-Way. I ain't gonna have that much edges out. I just wanna see if I need to. Do I need to? No, I'll be okay. Then once I get my braids, it's gonna be like that. It may look a little wiggish a little bit, but, but it's okay. It's all right, I don't stress. Like it's giving lace front. It's gonna look better, don't worry. 
This hairline situation is hilarious to me. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna take this HH Cosmetics leave-in. They sent me some of their products. The smell is kind of strong, but you know. Make sure my grays are covered, okay. Yeah, and I went ahead and put a little bit of mascara on cause girl, these dark brows and this dark hair with these baby lashes. And the next clip that you will see will be of my hair braided. If I forgot to come back on camera, thank you so much for watching my little prep. Stay tuned, subscribe, because I will be vlogging our trip. I love you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys in my next one.